If you're a Game of Thrones fan, you're probably knee-deep in conspiracy theories right now debating everything from whether Cersei Lannister's pregnancy is real but if Bran is really the Night King. But there's a new theory floating around Reddit that absolutely needs your attention. Basically, user knows 4 2 thinks that it's very possible John and Danny will end up cutting off their alliance and fighting each other, with one of them, probably Danny, dying. Strap in because there is a lot to read here. It starts with Varys and Tyrion. Right now, these two are two of Danny's top advisors, but they have expressed genuine concerns about her leadership before. Tyrion and Varys spoke in worried tones about her possibly becoming more like her father after what happened with the Tarleys. Tyrion also brought up his concern to Danny's face while John and Co. were beyond the wall last season. He was received with vitriol and an implication from Danny that Tyrion was a traitor. In fact, almost every time Tyrion has questioned Danny in their entire time together, she has either implicitly or explicitly accused him of still being in cahoots with the Lannisters. Tyrion is aware of what Danny's worst impulses are, he even brought them up to his mortal enemy Cersei. These events and worries from last season will come to a head with Danny's treatment of Jaime when he stands before the council in Winterfell. In the next on Gut segment for season 8 episode 2, we hear Danny bringing up Jaime killing her father. Danny also says, he, Tyrion, should have never trusted Cersei, and we see a shot of Danny walking away angrily from Tyrion while he looks dejected. If Danny decides to imprison Jamie, or intends to execute him, but is talked out of it, this may very well be the last straw for Tyrion in being able to think Danny is a just ruler. He will undoubtedly learn of Jon's heritage sooner than later, and possibly decide to switch to his side because of his better claim and temperament. Varys will surely follow suit. Okay, yeah, this all seems totally possible so far. Moving on to Samwell, who is legit pissed at Danny R.N., presumably, because she killed his dad and brother. Sam now has a vendetta against Danny for killing his brother. Think back to the episode in Season 5 when the Night's Watch held an election to see who would become the next Lord Commander. Sam was the one who nominated John spoke for him even though John didn't want the job, because he knew that the Watch would suffer under Thorn and prosper under John. In the books, he set even more machinations into motion in order to ensure John's victory. Sam's story this season may be a very similar scenario to that seen only on a bigger, higher stake scale. He could reveal this information to Sansa, who already seems to despise Danny, and work with her to get the Lords of the North behind Jon as the one true king. Sam has already planted the idea in Jon's head that he is far more fit to rule than Danny, precisely because he was willing to give up his ability to rule at all for the safety of his people. Sam is Jon's best friend and probably most trusted advisor. Sam thinks Danny isn't fit to rule, John will begin to have serious doubts about her as well, even if he does love her. Hmm, interesting. Loving the book knowledge being dropped in here. Okay, here's where this user predicts Sansa will come in. I think this one line and its importance blew over a lot of people's heads on Sunday night. But before the Dothraki call comes up to Danny to inform her about the dragons not eating properly, Danny laments Sansa not liking her to John. Paraphrasing here, but she says something to the effect of, she doesn't have to be my friend, but if she can't respect me, and trails off. This is obviously implying a threat on Sansa's life if she doesn't fall in line. It isn't a fact, but there are a few other things she could have possibly meant. What does Danny do to those who don't respect her? Asks Samwell Tarly. John looked concerned when she said this but the subject was changed to more concrete matters too quickly to be pursued. When Sansa was talking to John alone in her room, she quipped that Danny was in fact much like her father, only prettier. Danny's behavior, statements, and attitude since arriving at Winterfell could make John end up believing this more and more. Yes, Sansa is totally that bitch who's already trying to turn John against Danny, so this still makes sense. 
wow, how the tables have turned. Giphy okay, continuing on. How Danny reacts to John's true heritage could be the death knell of their love and alliance. If she reacts with anger and calls him a traitor or something to that effect, this will prove everything he has been hearing from all of his loved ones to be true. He will pull away from her, and make a claim on the throne in an effort to save the realm from another monarch who puts power lust in front of all else. I think there may be some kind of inciting event during or right before the battle for Winterfell that will truly sour John against Danny enough to go to war or at least to redact his proclamation that she is his queen. That piece I haven't figured out yet, but I think it may be essential to the believability of John waging war against Danny. At that point, he will reluctantly become Aegon Targaryen in earnest, and a military conflict between the two Targaryens may be on the horizon. Jon Snow's face upon reading this theory, Giffy, wow. But what about Cersei? What if Jaime or Arya kills Cersei before she ever gets the chance to attack Jon and Danny? In the books, the Golden Company support young Griff widely believed to be a fake Aegon Targaryen. What if in the show, after Cersei's death, they decide to throw their support behind the real Aegon Targaryen? The Golden Company was started by Blackfire, Targaryen bastard, loyalists. Maybe the show will find a way to show Harry Strickland having hidden Targaryen loyalty that will be revealed when Jon's true heritage spreads throughout the Seven Kingdoms. With the Golden Company behind Jon, and with Tyrion and Jaime supplying him with the remaining Lannister forces, and with Sansa providing him with the Knights of the Vale and Northmen, Jon will have an army that can rival and most likely overwhelm what will remain of the Dothraki and Unsullied. But wait, there's more to discuss re, the dragons. I think there was more to the dragon riding scene in the premiere than meets the eye. Jon has now ridden Rhaegal while Danny never has. Could it be possible that now Rhaegal could be more partial to Jon than he is to Danny? Could he decide to bind himself to Jon? Has he already done so? It seems very possible to me. We had the Field of Fire Part 2 in Season 7. What if we end with the Dance of Dragons Part 2 in Season 8? Jon, Rhaegal and his army versus Danny, Drogon, and her army. OSH asterisk T. That's potentially the biggest twist of this entire thread. Basically, the idea here is that the Night King and Cersei are plot devices used to sow issues in both camps, which actually makes a lot of sense but would seem like a lot of work to end up not being a factor in the final conflict. Either way, we'll know soon. Let's block ads. Why?